Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. Isaiah 30, verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, says the Lord, who take counsel, but not of me, who devise plans, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. God was saying, my people no longer look to me for guidance and counsel. Instead, they lean on the arm of flesh. Every time they act without seeking me, turning to the world for help, for help. They pile sin upon sin. They've forsaken their trust in me. Verse 15, for thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest you will be saved. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. God says you don't have to live in confusion anymore. You don't have to endure the chaos and disappointments of this present darkness. Too many of God's servants are full of worry and fear, looking for answers online in best-selling books, and everyone wants guidance. Verses 18-19, The Lord will wait that he may be gracious to you, and therefore he will be exalted that he may have mercy on you. Blessed are all those who wait for him. You shall weep no more. He will be very gracious to you at the sound of your cry. When he hears it, he will answer you. If you'll just wait on the Lord, if you'll cry out to him again and return to trusting in him. Proverbs 3, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Let's pray. Our Father, your name is holy. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, we are tired and worn down from the chaos and violence and spiritual battles and, Lord, even from disappointments. Lord, forgive us for leaning on the arm of flesh. We cry out to you for direction and strength and healing. Lord, let us dream again. Let us look to you again, your vision, your purpose. Help us to remember how you brought us through. Jesus, we lean on you. We need your love. We need your truth. Holy Spirit, guide me through the dangerous paths of today. We cast all our anxiety, all our worries on you, Lord. Let the peace of God that surpasses all understanding guard our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. In his wonderful name, amen.